Hello and welcome to the Cisco CyberOps Associate Lab video series. I'm going to be walking through each of the major labs of the Cisco CyberOps Associate NetaCAD curriculum. So let's go and let's jump on in. Hello and today we're doing lab 1.1.5 installing the virtual machine. So in this lab we're going to be setting up our virtual environment. So within the CyberOps Associate, we're looking at two specific VMs, a workstation VM and a security onion. The instructions should, from com uh, should come from the NetaCAD course, but it is essentially prepping virtualization software and importing the VMs. So again, you have to have the resources, eight gigs of RAM, lots of hard drive space, and a hypervisor. The instructions say to use VirtualBox. I'm not doing that. I'm doing it through VMware uh, Workstation. But essentially, step one, download your hypervisor, install it. Step two, download your VMs. There again, two, one OVA for Workstation, one OVA for Security Onion. If you need the downloads, let me know. I will give you uh, links for the downloads. And then after that, part two is importing them into your environment. So I'm working on several projects right now. So to stay organized in my workstation, I'm going to go ahead and make a Cisco Cyber Ops folder. And then I'm going to go ahead and import my two VMs. So the import portion can take a little while. I'm going to do workstation first. Workstation is fine. I want to save it to a specific directory. So I'm going to go ahead and change my directory. Click import. And import takes about five to 10 minutes. So I'm going to pause while it does the import. You'll know it's done importing because the import screen will go away. All right, import one is complete. I'll drag that up to my folder. I will go ahead and open up the security onion. Again, same general steps. I want to save it to my directory import takes five to 10 minutes to import and I'm going to pause. So we're not just looking at the task bar or the progress bar. All right. So that one's finally finished importing. I'm going to open up my security onion first. Again, read the instructions. The instructions tell you how to log in. And it basically means that the username is analyst and the password is cyber ops. So all that's going again, walk through the instructions. We've done the import for both machines. We're starting them up. And they're going to give in the lab an example of CyberOp workstation, but you need to do it for both workstations. Get logged in, make sure they have internet access, analyst and CyberOp are the password. And then once we verify this connectivity portion, we'll move on to step three. All right, the username again, analyst. Analyst, password is CyberOps. takes a minute, it will resize, it will show some basic uh, screen flickering. While this is doing its thing, I'm going to start my workstation. If you don't have enough resources, that's fine. You uh, can do them one at a time. Alright, once that happens, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to application, I'm going to go to a terminal. I can ping Google, that works, ping google.com. All right, so I have outside access, I have DNS, so security onion at least for this part is good to go. All right, on my workstation, get logged in, cyber ops. 
this is one where people normally have issues so once my uh, workstation is loaded terminal emulator ping 8.8.8.8 .8 if you get a connection or network is not available not a big deal if you do sudo dhcp cd password cyber ops all right if you do uh, sudo dhcp and you're not getting any of it that's fine what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change our adapter settings we want our adapter settings to show bridged and security onion we have multiple adapters and they are showing bridged so security onion is good to go all right so I'm gonna do a pseudo d 2 pcd again all right so if config if config will pull up our IP information and here it is so ping 8.8.8.8 .8 I got internet connectivity ping google.com all right so I have some basic connectivity so we are good there step three familiarize yourself with the virtual machine and then after that shut down the virtual machine so workstation we have our home directory we have our some form of file browser our desktop we have our root of our drive we have our basic network settings application is going to be where things are going to be located terminal web browser we have some uh, accessories and cyber op tools. We have a Python uh, IDLE. We have Wireshark internet. We have a web browser, multimedia. We have some test utilities. And when we're all done looking around, maybe right click, see what our properties look like. Maybe right click, look at the desktop settings you can change the background you can manipulate the size if you want some of them will resize automatically if uh, you have the correct tool sets so for what we're doing this should be more than sufficient I may do a, a later video showing how to install the tools but again right now that's not really necessary alright so at that point I'm gonna go ahead and unmaximize my screen I'm gonna shut down my workstation so log out I want to shut down for security onion here we have our squill our cabana we have our applications favorites accessories internet others network miner of F, uh, InGrip, these are all man pages, Cabana, CyberChef, we have system tools and utilities. Right click, you can play with the desktop if you want. Again, normal basic stuff. When you're done looking at it, start. One thing that is kind of interesting with our security onion. We have multiple available NICs. All of them have an X except this guy. That is the NIC we're actually using. When you're done, go ahead and power it off. So these are other logged in users because some of these systems uh, need a user. That's what those are. Power it off and when it's done powering off, we are good to go.
All right, so both VMs are powered off. So we did step three, we did step four. We could do things like sudo commands or doing it via the terminal uh, with a sudo reboot or a sudo shutdown. It kind of just depends on how you want to. I like the shutdown button, but again, everyone's slightly different, so not a big deal. All right, last thing is our reflection. Answer the question, what are the advantages and disadvantages of using a virtual machine? Well, first disadvantage is space, compute resources, memory, processor. You have to have a physical machine capable of handling the virtual machines. There might be some performance degradation depending on how many virtual machines you have loaded. So there are some disadvantages. Some of the main advantages are, well, if I mess it up, I can just delete the VM and start back over. I can do snapshots of my VM if I'm afraid of what I'm doing. So we got lots of options to play with depending on what we're trying to accomplish. So pros and cons, the list is way more in depth than what I just said. But again, like I said, I wanted a quick, just down to the point, few pros and cons and go from there. All right, that is the end of this lab. All right, so that does it for this lab video. A few suggestions would be, one, run through the lab a second time, trying to do it by yourself. Two, I would do a summary of kind of what you learned, where you struggled, and keep that type of journal going so that you can build off of it. Third, and finally, take time to reflect. These labs start off fairly easy and then they grow in complexity. So some of the labs you may have to redo a few times to fully grasp what's going on. If you have any questions or any concerns, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.